Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Um, I decided to come out here for an hour or so and just do a little random work. Um, this is kind of the aftermath of a very busy garage sale day yesterday. Uh, we've got got a got stuff going on here. We've got um, we've got comic books out that are going to get listed. Um, We've got, of course, our other stuff here on the to be listed shelves. Uh, it's a mix of stuff I got from my guy now and like garage sale stuff. Um, so I'm gonna probably go ahead and list a few things um, today and schedule them out for later just to give us a little bit of a head start as well as in a little bit probably gonna um pull and pack some orders and whatnot uh we've got we plugged in if you watch the garage sale video um we plugged in all of the little talk about walkie talkies we've got more somewhere i thought one two Three, four, five, six. I don't know where the other ones are at. I've, I've got two more somewhere. Where the heck are they? Oh, they're on Candace's desk next to the uh, diapers over there. Uh, so what I found though is that a lot of those batteries I think are just dead. And somebody in the comments said something very useful. They said, hey, those can take... Um, These can take uh, AAA batteries and opening it up, yeah, it definitely looks like they can use AAA batteries. Uh, I also found that um, there are some replacement battery packs on eBay, you know, aftermarket, of course, uh, that are super cheap. Like you can get them for a couple of bucks a piece. So I think what I'm probably going to do, probably going to replace all these battery packs and um then we'll also we always have triple a batteries on hand so when we go camping we'll have both of those methods for charging these things and i'm probably going to sell two sets of two um also so basically we're going to make profit and keep two sets of two for ourselves, uh even after buying these battery packs so uh yeah these are these are pretty nice and I, i'm think they i'm pretty sure they all are probably going to work but i'll go ahead and test some out like this battery looks like it has a charge okay so let me see this one this one you can see it the battery is super low on it so it's not gonna it needs to be replaced for sure Looks like this one has a charge and it's on channel one. So I'm gonna leave y'all here and I'm gonna go to the other end of the shed because otherwise I'll get a bunch of feedback if I key up the mic right there. I could hear it's loud enough I could hear that it does work so um, yeah I'm happy with that purchase bought all those for 10 bucks yesterday and um, yeah we'll be able to keep four of these in the camper so anyways enough of that uh, I did find out this is probably worth about 50 bucks paid five for it uh, that was during the Gerber knife buy I listed three of the Gerber knives yesterday. I decided to keep a little pocket one. Somebody also in the comments um, said, because I opened a box with some keys during that video, actually the box containing these radios, they said, you need to carry a knife. I agree. So uh, I like this little thing because it's got screwdrivers and some other little tools you can use in a pinch and some pliers, of course, it's a multi-tool. So I went ahead and uh, opened this up. I'm gonna keep it. It's a little Gerber dime multi-tool. Then I'm gonna list 
one two I had three more things right here that i'm going to list in a little bit um so what else oh the knives i'm going to go ahead and get those scheduled uh today are not scheduled i'm going to do a draft for three auctions i think i'm going to auction all these knives uh, just for fun it'll it'll be interesting to see how high they go they're really they're really cool this one has some corrosion uh, but the blade is a nice like the blade is not abused or anything the other two the blades are a little better and they all have solingen like this one says solingen 27 on it and i mean they are just they're just fantastic looking knives. i love these knives it's not something i'm going to keep just it's not my thing but i can appreciate uh the craftsmanship and the uh just the age the way they look and everything i, I really like that so i'm, I'm glad even though I'm not going to keep them, it's one of those things I'm glad I got to uh, find them, buy them, uh, check them out, hold them, experience them for a little while, and then let them move on somewhere where where uh, somebody will appreciate them more than I do. And let's see, what else What else are we doing today? Hmm. Going to probably pull and pack orders, like I said, and... I think I'm going to load these up in the truck. I'm probably going to go ahead and get these suckers listed too. These uh, adult diaper things. See how they do. think I'm going to donate the loose. And then sell these in their cases. And just ship them out exactly like they're packed. So uh, I want to make it as easy as possible. I'm not going to, not going to try and get a, a ton of money for that. Because I'm just going to basically drop it off at ups after i put a label on it so uh yeah let's get to work a little bit here saw a lot of comments on the video where people said they were glad that i was back out and about garage sailing and you know what i couldn't agree more like my guy is a great source really good source obviously and I can make a full-time income, so far anyway, things can always change. I can make a full-time income off of just the stuff I get from him. There's no doubt. However, I, there, that's what I need right there. I think I'm going to need to, I'm going to capture that with my phone. Because I find the iPhone is much better at getting small stuff okay so i'll do it like this here we go I'll get in tight not only do i have to get in tight i also have to kind of get the right angle uh, here we go i think that's gonna do it right there boom got it Let's see make sure there's nothing on that side there's not i think uh i think i'm good with these I'm good. Okay. With that one. Um, but from just an enjoyment standpoint, there's nothing I enjoy more than getting out on the road, especially with Candace or the kids whenever they go, which isn't that often lately and hitting garage sales, just finding deals out in the wild. Um, to me, that's like the most enjoyable thing. So I love garage sales too. However, I am, garage sales are very unpredictable though. So if you can find another source, then you need to have multiple, you need to have multiple sources of goods. If you can, it's not always, not everybody can always have that especially when they're first starting out. When I first started out, I was just doing garage sales and I got to be I got to admit it wasn't it wasn't easy for a few reasons. Number 1, I didn't have that much knowledge yet even though I thought I did at the time. I was over confident 
And I mean, I would have a lot of weekends where I would go out and I would just have a bust of a weekend and everything I'd already sourced before at that point was listed. So it was kind of a, I don't know if I almost felt kind of desperate. I did. And I, I thought I knew what I was doing sourcing wise, but honestly, I didn't. I didn't. I had I had maybe 10% of the knowledge I have now, and I still don't think I know that much. Like the longer I've always found the longer I do something like this. Man, this has writing on both sides. The longer I do something like this, the more I realize that I don't know. <laughs> uh like just that's when you start to learn is when you come to the realization that uh, you know enough to realize that you don't know much. <laughs> and then you can really start to learn. Uh, I think before that, my ego and my enthusiasm might have gotten in the way a tad from getting to the next level. And I, I, I think... I think ego can kind of get in the way a lot of times for us. So I'm gonna put a hand pick here. I take a pick of my hand to try and separate things whenever they're uh, whenever they're similar, like these knives. So I'm gonna stack these up in order. So I'll do this one first, then this one, and then the third one. But it was a lot of fun getting out yesterday, and I don't know when we're gonna go again but I'm looking forward to it. And it's also nice to see, I don't like to talk pandemic stuff too much, but I'm really hopeful that all that stuff is gonna be coming to an end soon. I really hope it is. I really hope we're gonna be getting back to normal because we've been, we've been in this weird state for so long now, over a year that it's almost like, I think people are starting to forget what normal life is. So I'm hoping we can get back to some close to normal life. I just don't know if we will. I don't know how we'll feel about, you know, even once things are, oops, I didn't want to take a picture like that. I'm gonna do it like that. That's a bad look, putting it on the tip, even though it doesn't necessarily do anything to it. I think people won't appreciate it if I put it on the tip like that. But um, I just wonder how people are gonna feel even once the this thing is all over, quote unquote, over with, may never be truly over with. Are we still gonna feel the same way we always did about like large gatherings and handshakes and things like that? I think that may be forever changed to some extent. But yeah, anyway, it was awesome getting out and man these knives huh they're sweet and just to give you all an idea of what i'm doing with this listing uh vintage Solingen Solingen germany stag fixed blade hunting knife olsen knife company and i'll show you that in a minute um i gave the overall length the length of the blade uh it's a little hard to make out but marked on blade olsen knife company Solingen germany oh, i misspelled that Blade has some light corrosion as shown. I'll just say corrosion. <laughs> uh, but appears to have been used very little. I think that's accurate. Please see photos. The sheath looks to be a vintage replacement, which I also think is accurate. I bet the sheath is... I bet this is like a 20-year-old sheath. It's pretty high quality. Um, not original to the knife. So that's all I said. And then here are the photos that y'all saw me taking a minute ago which I'm happy enough with those and I have some real really good close-ups of the blade on either side so they can see the condition of that blade for themselves so I'm happy enough with that also here is the iPhone photo that I took and it wasn't until I looked at the iPhone photo and I thought I could pick out Olsen and then maybe a K right here and then a Co. I'm like, oh, that might be Olsen Knife Company. 
And so I did a quick Google search and then I found like some articles, Olsen factory manufacturer, vintage fixed blade, an American knife company remembered, Olsen knife company, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they have roots going back to, it says, Uh, to Lee Olson Jr. and then they show some knives and whatnot. Uh, kind of weird that they ha have a Solingen Germany blade on that, or or that they are on a Solingen Germany blade. So I need to iconic American design, useful yet elegant. Hmm. I don't really understand this. <laughs> uh, might take a little more research. From our connection in Japan, we learned that Olsen made Japan production knives from 78 to 82. Quality, wait, around 1978. Okay, that's, oh, here we go. In the 1960s, Olsen also began producing their knives in Solingen, Germany and continue to do so for about a decade. Okay, there we go. There we go, I feel better now. So that knife is from the 60s. Um, American company, German steel, <laughs> right? <laughs> so interesting. It's very interesting to see where your, uh, where your research can take you on stuff like this. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get these drafts uh, made up and then I'm gonna save as draft like this one's ready to roll and it's gonna be in the pile for Candace. Look, we have no, that's the only draft we have ready to roll right now. It's gonna be in the pile for Candace to uh, drop as she sees fit. Now what I'm probably gonna do is try and drop all three knives uh, within about five to 10 minutes of each other, just in case a collector wants to buy all three. I don't want them to have to be spread out among multiple days, so. Uh, quick video wanted to share this little thing with y'all talk to y'all for a minute i'll see y'all again very soon thanks for watching guys bye bye